I wanted to do a little bit of different things and yeah, I can't find blue right now or the new one. I don't know what I do with tools. This little bag right here was a spur of the moment thing I did late at night and it's everything in here is under five dollars. Okay, so this is the under five dollar bag. Small, well, most of the stuff under five dollars is. So let's open this up and take a look at it. And if you like this, I have another order coming in that's under two dollars. But let's get to the under five dollars and see what you get. I can't wait to see what I get for under two dollars. That knife scares me. Okay. I don't even remember half of what's in here. What is this? Oh, okay, okay. So this looks like it needs to be opened as well, because you might as well open it and have fun with what this whole video idea is about. So I bought an electric scooter recently, and I wanted something that when you put your phone in, it ain't going anywhere. So I seen this aluminum bracket and I thought, wow, I mean, it's aluminum. How bad can it be, right? And that's actually pretty, pretty awesome. Uh, so you have another piece here. So it'll bolt onto my handlebar on my scooter. Now, when I say scooter, I mean the two wheel, you know, stand up whee machine. Yes, I'm probably going to die on it, but it's me. It's me. It's my life to die. And then there's rubber things in here. So you don't scratch your handlebars and stuff the keys and another little piece right here. So uh, anyway, this is going to be a pretty cool. So for under $5, I haven't seen a plastic one that's built like this. Like that's insane. Yes, my phone will have to go sideways, of course, because I'm not going in there without it. But look at that. You can't, one, I have a rubberized case on here anyway. So it's a clear one. So you're not going to be able to go through it anyway, but then you clamp it down, tighten it, and of course with the rubber things that are in there, of course it will stop any, I guess I could clamp down more and tighten, but there's rubber in there for a reason. But anyway, I have bumps in my thing anyway, so it wouldn't come out, and it can't come out because of this, and when you put those rubber pieces on inside here, it'll stop your phone from actually doing even that. So. This is actually going to be pretty cool. I'm uh, <laughs> pretty happy for five bucks. And it was like an order on a whim. All right, let's see what, what, what's this blue thing. Oh, okay. So <laughs> this is cutting wheels. Oh, wow, they're actually thick. So now if you go to Canadian Tire in Canada or uh, Rona or Home Depot in the States or whatever, you will know that these cutting wheels are ex are expensive. They're like $20 for, I don't know, one, maybe two, maybe four, whatever. I never really went looking for them. And they go in my drill. They look like they might also fit a Dremel, but they would go in my drill and then I have these new cutting wheels. This is the piece that goes in the drill, tightens down. I did not expect it to be this good. I thought these would be flimsy and they're solid. Like, they are solid. Two for two. Guys, that's $10 right there. $5, $5. I'm impressed. Now, some of it might have been under, okay? And I'll put the prices up somewhere as I'm going along because maybe this was $2.98. It's under five. This could have been three bucks. I don't know. But I'm just saying right now, I think this was $24 delivered for everything in here. Small package, but really cool stuff. What do we have here? Oh, okay. So guys, this is your double sided tape. This is your thick rubber tape. You want to put stuff on the wall, uh, like you see when I cover up wires in behind my studio sets or whatever, and they, they stick to this. I even have, believe it or not, them holding on the ceiling. And I figured how big would the roll be for $2 or whatever it was? And not a bad size roll. I mean, I have a roll like this from uh, another shop, but not bad. I mean, we're talking 
under five dollars and i want it to be under five dollars now keep in mind when i do this unless you guys actually request something for me to buy and test and that can happen i actually bought stuff that i think i'm going to use right my ski, uh, scooter i use this stuff all the time and i got some projects coming up where i may need cutting wheels that don't snap in a dremel okay what else here Okay, that doesn't want to come out kind of nice. Whatever it is, is stuck to plastic inside. Nothing else in there. Okay, so here we have... Now, if anything that you see here, I'm going to test at some point anyway. I had to cut that. Have you ever wanted to take your old hard drive, transfer data, but you just couldn't get a piece or a docking station's 50 bucks and you're like, wow. Well, this little guy here, I'm gonna say, to be reasonable, I'm gonna call this a laptop drive, SATA drive thing. It will plug into big hard drives. And again, if you guys are looking to buy something like this, let me know. Let me know the, uh, the application you're gonna use and I will test it for you and answer that question. But this is just a cheap USB three to SATA and power for SSDs, hard drives, big hard drive, five, three and a half, five and a quarter, whatever. And I thought, hey, I'm always looking and I, I, I have two or three of the big ones I just said big ones. So this is small. If it plugs in and does the job, hey, I'm happy. Build quality, this plastic's a little cheesy, but hey, it's just housing that, no big deal. The cable and everything seems pretty nice and it is USB 3. So again, we have four items already and I'm still kind of happy. I can't remember what this is. Oh, I think I know. Now I bought this because one, it was one of those weird, interesting things. I said, I could use that in a weird project build. So well, let's open it up and let me show you what I bought. Okay. So it's a fan, but not just a normal fan. This is a blower fan. Okay. So it's a blower fan that I can mount wherever to take air out. Kind of weird because there's no heat sink, right? This is not a blower fan that you, uh, this would be just for removing heat out of a case or a small project you're doing. And I thought, you know what? It's USB. That's gonna be pretty easy. So let's see what kind of air it blows. I'm curious. Okay, not too noisy, right? And uh, it's moving air. So that's pretty cool. I mean, literally I'm getting cool. <laughs> so it would be taking the warm air from inside the product, coming down through here and being sent out the back. So for example, let's say you were building a mini PC case or a mini whatever, some sort of controller or whatever, and it's generating heat in the box. It has no way to cool itself other than let's say a heat sink. This guy will bring that air out for you and keep the air moving. Just have some vents somewhere so you can bring in some cold air and USB will plug into pretty much any project you're doing, or you can cut the wires and do it yourself, however you wish to do it. Now it's one speed, but as you can see, pretty quiet, moving some good air. Well guys, thanks for watching and tuning in. And like I say, I have an under $2 video coming. I have an option to do an under a dollar, but if you guys want me to do under a dollar, let me know. And again, if you guys are looking at Timu and you're saying, hey, you know what? I don't really trust this. Um, it's not that expensive. What do you really get for that? As long as it's tech, because I'll use tech. Let me know and I'll see if I can get it in here and, and test it out for you. But anyway, till next time, guys, thank you for watching and game over.